morning everyone this is mr g again today i'm taking you on a vlog of the mighty mount madonna i'll be doing hazel dell which i've made a vlog of before from both directions and hopefully if the body responds well i'll be doing more than one side of mount madonna but at least i'll tackle the main side from the santa cruz county area and i'm looking forward to showing you this this is a beautiful beautiful road it's a hard climb but fortunately i have low low gearing on my bike unlike when i was 16 and rode it for the first time with the giant 42 24 range of gears <laughs> so looking forward to today I had a cough earlier in the month and that was rough so we'll see how it goes but I felt pretty good on the recent training rides and I'm just excited to be out. It's a beautiful morning. It was foggy, the sun cleared quicker than usual and I'm in the forest breathing fresh air. So life's pretty good. Right now I'm at the crest of the first climb, Hazel Dell Road, warming up gradually. This is a good climb in its own right, but it's a really good warm up for a beast like Madonna. Mount Madonna has three miles that are at least 10%, and in total, it's a four and a half mile climb the way I'm doing it this morning. So the, the full segment listed as a seven, seven and a half average, that's because the first mile is a false flat, but really it's one of those grinding 10% climbs that has very little breaks except a little bit towards the top, which is nice. Anyway, both a little nervous and mostly super excited for it. Definitely feel tired, as I often do in the morning, but it is invigorating to be out and the day should just keep getting more beautiful. So enjoy the scenery. Meadow's still got a little green in July. So, Hazel Dell merges into Mount Madonna about a mile and a quarter up, so I'm descending that today before looping back for the full climb. At the bottom of this road on the junction of Casserly, there's a store if you need to refuel. In Mount Madonna Park, there's a number of water fountains for water stops as well, and if you go a little past the turn on Redwood Retreat, there's a county park where you can fill your bottles on really, really hot days, but if you fill up in the Mount Madonna Park, you should be good to go in terms of fluid. So as you can see, I'm heading back into the fog. I'm doing a little loop around some farm roads uh, to come back to Mount Madonna. Hazel Dell connects to Mount Madonna <clears throat> about a mile and a quarter up. Now that first mile is barely any climbing. So if you do climb it directly from Hazel Dell, you still get the bulk of the climb. <clears throat> but I like doing the whole thing from bottom to top. And I'm just warming up my legs extra and getting in a few extra miles on some relatively flat roads. There's some rollers out here, but this is one of the few opportunities I get today to actually pedal on the flat. It's gonna be a sawtooth profile mostly. I'm not sure if you can see in the distance, but as often is the case, the mountain is bathed in sunshine while the lowlands have the overcast. It's gonna be a sweaty climb and this climb, Mount Madonna, is fairly exposed as well. So when it's warm and sunny, you go slow because it's steep. The sun bakes you. It's just challenging in so many ways, but also really, really beautiful. And it's nice to have a climb that has both redwoods, but also a lot of exposed roads. Some of the roads around here just have thick forests, which is beautiful, but block some of the scenery block some of that sunny mediterranean feel look at those palm trees all right in the lowest gear already had a good double digit grade stays like this for a while good news is scenery just keeps getting better 
So this is a long sweeping switchback about halfway up. <clears throat> At the top there's two in the woods that are very tight, which is what I like, but I like them all. And it's beautiful here. So it's pretty steep during this section. And as you can see, the road's narrow. There's a couple kickers, a little bit of an easy spot, and then the longest, sunniest, steepest stretch <coughs> that brings you oh, about 80% to the top. <coughs> nice thing about riding this road in the morning is that whereas normally it's quite exposed, the angle of the morning sun provides better shade. Some beautiful Italian style homes here. The cypress and the stonework. This is the bit that's sunny, mostly straight, and pretty steep. If you can keep your calm through here, <coughs> it eases just a bit. It's still hard to the top, but if you don't blow up on this steep straightaway that's just around the corner, you're good to go. Be steady. Well, fresh pavement for the last quarter mile or so. And we are getting our blessed tiny little downhill flat spot. Got a couple hairpins and it's easier, although still work, to the top. Beautiful for us now. Sweet. I am at the top at a bathroom in Mount, in Mount Madonna State Park. <clears throat> Filling my bottles, going to eat some food and do the downhill to the Gilroy side to do Redwood Retreat and the gravel Mount Madonna. So I was planning on doing that, but if my lungs from my recent cough and or my knees or back were bothering me, I was just going to do a single Mount Madonna, which is still a... a a solid effort it's always a strong day on the bike if you do any side of Mount Madonna but uh, I felt good on the climb and used the low gear was very conservative found a rhythm and I'm excited to keep going and smash some more hills Pretty good pavement around here. The scenery is amazing. Much more of a Mediterranean, almost Sierra Foothill vibe out here. It smells different. It's hotter. Fortunately, it's early enough in the day. The heat shouldn't be too much of a problem. And right as the climb gets hard, the redwoods kick in. Even on this side of the hill, which is cool. <clears throat> All right, here we are. The junction of Redwood Retreat and Mount Madonna. On this side, the hardest part is right away. Here we go. A lot of pine trees and bay trees on this climb. The steepness and relentless 
It's very similar <coughs> to the front side, but the scenery, until you hit the redwoods halfway up, totally different. And even that is quite different. The forest is a little more closed in. <coughs> and of course the gravel. Alright, we hit the gravel. Let's see how this goes. Might be kind of loose this deep into summer. <clears throat> there was some steep bits and the gravel definitely is loose in sections. Kind of rocky and mossy in here. I think we're getting close to the top. This gravel section's been tough. Loose, loose, hot, but fun. There's the big tree that marks the summit. Last quarter mile is harder packed and gradual grade. And boy, is that welcome. <laughs> when you descend the main road, like I did earlier today, you keep climbing another half mile, maybe three quarters of a mile. Not too bad, but definitely still working through Mount Madonna Park on pole line and then drop down to 152. 152 is a main road. I feel comfortable doing it. I used my lights and took the, the wider turnouts when I had the option. There are cars on it and sometimes they drive fast but they are used to cyclists so i feel good on it if you don't then definitely consider other options i'm going to descend the old road that i came up the first time now um, once on the main road is enough for today the disadvantage of doing the old road is there's bumps and some barbed wire and it's steep but the scenery is awesome so just use your brakes Take caution, it's a narrow road. There's fortunately not a lot of cars, but you will see some, so always take a little caution. I'm hydrating now because there won't be that much time to reach for bottles on the downhill, and then pretty much straight away, do the final climb up Hazel Dell, and then I'm back at the car. My hydration plan previous to the, the second climb was on the, the rolling valley leading to it, was to try and drink as much of my fluid as I can without hurting my stomach so that my body would be hydrated and my bike would be lighter and that worked out pretty well. Top of the final climb, Hazel Dell. Woo! I fueled and hydrated perfectly. So this one was tiring but felt really good. And you really notice 6% compared to 10 average <clears throat> and also the length 10 minutes versus 25, 35. But anyway, beautiful ride. If you let yourself get low on water and food, then any hill is gonna really hurt, especially after big mountains. But this one was just the sweet cherry on top, cool conditions, lots of shade, beautiful, not a car in sight. Loving this ride, highly recommend it. Try the single Mount Madonna before you do the double. The gravel is intense and I was losing traction. I got 25s, 28s, 30s, 32s, or even a gravel bike will feel a lot better. But there's so much pavement and there's no downhill gravel unless you descend the backside of Mount Madonna. So gravel bike, maybe not so much. Your decision. Anyway, I'm excited to include this in my upcoming tour. Thanks so much for checking in. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Ciao. Today was such a special day on the bike. I hadn't ridden this course for almost three years and it was right when I found out Caitlin was pregnant with Jonah. I remember suffering coming up the backside of the gravel climb but then thinking to myself, I'm gonna be a father and I was so excited. It brought back a lot of those memories as well as all the memories I've had riding these roads and enjoying these beautiful mountains. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this content, please like, subscribe and share and consider coming on tour with me for some more epic rides and maybe to learn a little bit of yoga.